Of course, you have seen like this function in most of websites. I did overreacting if I said in all websites. So in this example, I will show you how to show up a head password and also how to measure its strength. So if you try this before going to the HTML and JavaScript, it'll be great. The HTML structure for this exercise is a password input, progress bar, and finally a checkbox. So let me get started. So here is a form tag. And firstly, let me make a label for the input. And it will be for. So it will be the ID for the input. Now let me type something like insert your password then let me make the input and it's a type is password and give it a class equal to form control and finally an id equal to input then let me make the progress bar so i will make it inside a division and give it a class equal to progress if you don't know how to make a progress bar using bootstrap feel free to check this on bootstrap.com so and here is the progress bar give it a class equal to progress bar and then give it an id equal to progress And finally, let we make the checkbox. So, vision and give it a class equal to form group and form check. All those classes are built in bootstrap classes. So, with those classes, we add a style for the element. So let me make the input and this type is checkbox and a class equal to form check input and finally an ID equal to I will call it show. Then let me make a label for this checkbox and it will be for uh, the ID for the checkbox which is show. Then give it a class equal to form check label and I want its text is muted and let me type something like show password so let me save now and see the result so here is the input and the, the progress bar and finally the checkbox but let me add some classes for the progress bar like make margin top 1 and change its width make it 50% and 
nice. I want to show you how the progress bar looks like. So let me add a style for the progress bar here. Uh, this style will be width. So if we make it width 20%, so let me see what will happen. Nice. If we increase it, let me add some classes to style it. So I want it to be stripped and also animated. So let me take this copy and make another class progress power stripped and also progress power animated so let me save and see so here is the progress bar animated and also stripped we can also change the color but it's good for now so let me return the width to zero again and this is will be the trick of the progress bar we will change the width using javascript so in javascript we will define two variables one to access to the input and another one to access to the progress bar then we will make conditions we have five conditions and finally we will have a function to make sure if that checkbox is checked or not so if it's checked we will show up the password and if it's not, the password will be hidden. So let me get started. So let me define a variable x and access to the input. So document. And another variable in for the progress bar then let me access to the checkbox and make sure if it's checked or not so document dot get element by id and the id for the checkbox is show and dot on click equal to a function then let me make sure if the checkbox is checked or not so if and uh, the condition will be this this mean the checkbox instead of we write document that get element by id show briefly we can use this dot checked so if the checkbox is checked so in this case we will change the type of the input from password to be text x dot set attribute and we want to change the type to be text and else it will be password again so let me save and check this so if you write anything and show password the password will be appear fabulous so now let me move to the progress bar so using the variable x and dot on input which will make a connection between 
the inserted characters and the progress bar. There is another event called onkey up will do the same job. So on input and equal to a function. So now let me make sure if the length of the password is between zero and six characters. So in this case, the width for the progress bar will be zero like it is. And then make sure if the length is between six and 10. In this case, the width of the progress bar will be 20%. And then make sure if it's between 10 and 15. So in this case, the width will be 50%. And if it's between 15 and 20, so the width will be 75%. And finally, if it's 20, so in this case, the width for the progress bar will be 20. And also, we will type message that the password is strong enough. So let me start with the first condition. If x dot value dot length equal to 6 or so if one of those conditions is true x dot value dot length less than 6 so in this case n dot style dot width will be zero percent so the width of the progress bar will be zero like it is but else if if the length between six and ten yeah, but here the first one between 0 and 6. So in this case, n dot style dot width will be equal to 20%. So let me check if this is true or not. So let me insert less than six characters. So now we have five characters. If we insert six, so the width of the progress bar will be 20%. Also, we can add a text in the progress bar in dot inner HTML and write 20 percent so let me check this nice let we copy this and make another one but change the range so it will be between 10 and 15 so in this case, the width will be 50% and the text should be 50. Let me make another one. So 20%, 50%, 75%, and if we insert 20, your password is strong enough. So if we remove just one character, it will return back to 75%. Fabulous. So now we can show the password and also measure the strength. But let we add a division here so I want to make it in the center of the page 
so I will add a division and give it a class equal to container nice so I hope you enjoyed this exercise and get benefit from so try to practice it and make it as a part of sign up form and if you need any help don't hesitate to ask me so good luck and see you